Guys, uh, I know I shouldn't be saying this, but uh, I've been thinking about it, and uh, Bowser's a bit of a terrible villain, isn't he? I mean, he has an entire army, yet he loses against one guy almost every time. Now, you might be thinking, maybe Mario's just that good, but nah. Just think about it for a minute. By the sheer chance of probability, Bowser probably would have won by now, right? It ain't Mario doing this. It's Bowser. He's completely incompetent. And I think it's about time someone calls him out on it. For real though, have you ever just looked back at some of his previous battles and thought, what the heck was he thinking? Let's take a look at the original Super Mario Bros, shall we? Back where it all began. So, after working our way through eight worlds and defeating seven fake Bowsers, we make it to the final battle with the Big B himself. Now, uh, I think it's safe to presume Bowser built all these castles, right? He sat down, got out his little pencil, put his architecture degree to good use, and hey, he even added some little traps too. He clearly spent some time on these things. And you know what? Fair deuce, he did a pretty good job. But there's just one teeny, tiny little problem. This bleeding thing. I mean, it's bad enough building a bridge above a pit of lava eight times, and it's bad enough fighting Mario exclusively on said bridge, but why? Why you gotta make an axe that sole purpose is to kill yourself? You don't even use it on Mario either. Are you feeling a bit suicidal, Bowser? Is that it? Do you need someone to talk to? Look, man, I'm here for you. And I'm telling you, you'll feel a lot better if you get rid of that bleeding thing. I mean, why is that lava pit even there? I'm serious. You're using it to burn your feckin' garbage or something. Is that it? Maybe you just want to burn some incriminating evidence. I, I don't know. Just, just use a paper shredder next time, okay? I mean, I thought Walt was a bit of a moron having a machine that specifically shoots out the one thing he's weak to. But Bowser is about to overtake him at this rate. Seriously though, that is an oddly specific machine to stand right next to, right? But, uh, hey, that was all Mario's dream, so uh, technically, it's his fault. So, uh, let's give Walt some slack, okay? And the thing is, right, yeah, I'd think Bowser would learn this lesson after the first time. But, nope. 20 years later, and he's still bleeding doing it. Only now, he's decided to add a big old flashing button to activate it. Come on, Bowser. It's no good turning around, acting surprised, that this thing you made is doing exactly what you expected it to do now, is it? Even when he's a big boy, pretty much undefeatable, he still has these instant death switches just laying about. Stop it, Bowser. Just stop it. You planned all year for this and you blew it with that bleeding switch again, didn't you? It's embarrassing. So around this point, I'm thinking, I think Bowser might just be a bit stupid, you know? Take a look at Mario 64, for instance. Now, the first time you fight him, he gets defeated by these rather decorative, explosive mines he just had laying around the arena. Fair dues, fair dues, you know. Can you blame him? It's not like anyone could have predicted Mario was going to show up, grab him by the tail, and swing him around like a feckin' hammer toss and throw him into a mine, is there? No one can see that coming, but that's no excuse to have the same bleeding thing happen two more times in the same game, you dopey git. Mate, you got a few more hours before Mario shows up again. Just spend a bit of extra time removing the bombs and you're set. It ain't complicated. Yeah, I know they look cool and menacing, but uh, you know what else looks cool and menacing? Axes. And we all know how that one ends up, don't we? But I know what you're thinking. Stop being so hard on Bowser. He's trying his best. It's not his fault Mario keeps outsmarting him. He doesn't plan for these things to happen. And to that, I have three words. Soccer ball bombs. He made bombs that look specifically like soccer balls, when the only way to defeat him is by kicking the bombs back at him. I mean, Bowser, mate, they look like soccer balls. What the hell do you expect Mario's gonna do with them? Shove them up his ass? No. He's got to kick the buggers, isn't he? Seriously, you took the time to make these bombs look specifically like soccer balls, and now it's coming back to smack you in your face. Literally, there just ain't no excuses for that. It's just damn right stupid. I mean, what's next? A hat with mechanical arms that you never actually use properly and just keeps benefiting Mario. Oh, oh wait, oh, oh, never mind. Well, here's an idea then. Stop jumping over Mario every single time. It just keeps running under you, and... Oh, uh... <clears throat> I regret to inform you that I've just been fired by the Bowser Corporation due to slander and will be replaced with the Loopy Cooper Trooper effective immediately. Yeah, oh, well, I should have seen that one coming really, shouldn't I? I mean, this has got to be like, what, the third video I've done where I've just slagged off Bowser. I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Ah, oh, never mind.
It's been a pretty good run, right? And uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Loopy Koopa Chloopa Show. Only on YouTube. See you next time. And remember, stay loopy.